Hello friends and welcome to today's video. Today marks the day 110 years ago the RMS Titanic sank on its maiden voyage to America. As you all are very aware, my family absolutely loves the Titanic. We find it so incredibly interesting and it got me thinking just for fun today, what would I have worn if I was on the Titanic? for dinner specifically. If you think of all of the outfits and the beautiful dresses that they wore, this time period was at the heart of the Gilded Age, which is actually a show I'm watching right now, highly recommend. So during this time of the maiden voyage, we are at the heart of the Gilded Age period. But also it was about this time period that a lot of modern fashion that we see today actually sprang up. Specifically, if you look at Titanic the movie, there's a lot of fabulous references of what people wore during that time period. I will also note that the fashion designer of the movie did their research. Many of the dresses and outfits that we see throughout the movie are based off fashion magazines in Paris in the year 1912. The costume designer for the movie Titanic, Deborah Lynn Scott, she actually won an Oscar for her role in the costumes during this film, which I think is pretty great. I love it when something's historically accurate. My favorite example of this is Rose's introductory scene where she's stepping out, she has her glove on, that beautiful jacket striped blazer outfit, and there's actually a suit that almost looks identical in a 1912 fashion magazine. Now a very popular thing to do in ocean liner culture was to show off your best, your grandest, your newest fashion, and actually some of the women, they would wear a different dress every night to dinner because they wanted to show off their newest things that they bought in Paris. Hats were also extremely popular in 1912. In fact, during that time, it was really popular to put a taxidermied bird in their hat. I am not joking. I don't really remember seeing that in the movie that I can recall, but actually it was so fashionable at the time that many bird species became endangered and even extinct, which is really sad, but it, it quickly came out of fashion. First class, Gilded Age society, they were spending more money on their clothes than they ever have before. Dinner dresses were often layered with sheer fabric and then covered with beautiful beading, as you can see Rose wear in many different scenes on the movie. I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could put together, using only clothes I already have, to see if I could put together an outfit for a dinner date on the Titanic. I actually bought this hat, but they don't actually wear hats at dinner, but I thought this was perfect with the time period. I'm gonna go put my hair back a little bit. Isn't this perfect? Couldn't you see me coming out of the car? Take my hand. I thought this was so cute. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this. I just have to figure out where. <laughs> Maybe like a cute little brunch or I could wear it on Easter Sunday. How cute would that be? Okay, let's go find a dress. This is what I would have worn. This is what I would have worn. I love this dress so much. This is actually the nicest dress I own and probably will ever own. <laughs> this is in fact my wedding dress. Now there are some things that are not historically accurate, such as the neckline. This is all way too modern for the Gilded Age era. However, the lace and the beading was very common. Oftentimes women would wear different layers of lace and then that would be covered up by beading, which is kind of what I'm sporting now. And this type of shoulder line, this was kind of common as well for the lace and the beading to go up to here. But what do you guys think? If I was time traveled to 1912 and I showed up wearing this, do you think they would burn me for being a witch and um, not like my outfit? <laughs> I think if I put up my hair, okay, hair is put up. This is a little bit more accurate of what it would have really looked like. If I was going to dinner, my hair would be up. I would have my fine dress on. This is what I would have worn. Ooh. What do you think? Do you think we, do we mesh? I don't know. This is probably an epic fail. Are y'all ready for this? My clips are too big, it doesn't fit. I don't know, wait, do I kinda look like Rose? Ooh, who's gonna tell her you don't look like Rose? <laughs> but yeah, like I said before, the neckline is all wrong. This is more of a sweetheart 
back in those days it would have been a straight line and this lace would not have been there but I think I would have passed if I would have went back in time and ate dinner I think this would have been socially acceptable comment down below if you think I'm wrong I also read that during that time period women wore minimal makeup they didn't wear any eyeshadow blush lipstick anyone who wore that style lipstick was thought to be a part of the theater crowd and during that time period that was very much not proper <laughs> That is in fact one thing in the movie Titanic that is inaccurate. The makeup follows very much the style of the 90s, not so much the style of 1912. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I don't know, I just went on a tangent in 1912 fashion and I just found it super interesting. And I just thought I would ask myself, what would I wear? And maybe one day we will actually make an authentic 1912 era outfit. I think that would be super cool. But they didn't have one of these in 1912.